This is a certified hood classic. The world of Ben 10 has given us so many iconic alien forms such as Accelerate, Forearms, and Swamp Fire, with Heat Blast being one of the greatest to ever emerge from the series. Heat Blast is everything you want in a generational talent. The homie has a lit design, no pun intended, and fire powers, not to mention he's the alien that started a whole trend of having the Omnitrix be worn on their chest. Had the whole alien force and ultimate alien squad rocking his style, you gotta love it. But what made Heat Blast such an iconic alien in the world of Ben 10? Well, Heat Blast was the first alien Ben ever transformed into into the series. Like imagine that. Of all the legendary aliens from the OG series, Heat Blast was the first one the creator decided to pick as the first debut alien. This is on the same level as The Rock being the first drafted superstar back in 2002 and Kobe getting drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. Talk about aura right there. In Heat Blast's first appearance, he started a forest fire and still was able to solve it through reverse Uno. Heat Blast easily got one of the best designs for any alien or I dare say fire user in media. The plasma based body covered by dark reddish volcanic rocks and the flaming head? Bro is doing Ghost Rider and Atomic Skull proud with a flaming head aesthetic. He blessed had some of the coldest fights in the series too. The homie cooked that fraud alien squad known as the Limix so badly that they never showed up again in the series. The bro put on his DC Young Fly hat to troll those annoying megawatts into getting captured like he blasts him. He blasts that guy. He blasts being voiced by Steve Blum made his character even better too in my opinion. He blasts pulling out the Entei special technique to cook that wannabe water monster into oblivion is a top 3 he blasts scene of all time. He blasts 1000 and certified him too. Just look at that glorious design. Bro looks like the fusion of two pyro knights. You know the man is filled up with flame emperor power levels. Heat Blast was so raw that by the time Alien Force arrived, the creators were like, let's make a whole new character based on him by the name of Alan. Which was cool, but come on, y'all already know which pyro knight we want to see. And that's Heat Blast by the GOAT Ben Tennyson. The Alien Force squad knew we wanted Ben to go Heat Blast during Alien Force because of the fact the homie was dialed up on so many different occasions. That's crazy when you think about it. Fast forward to Ultimate Alien. When the Ultimate Alien squad encountered young Ben, who was the first alien the young GOAT chose? He Blast. Like, He Blast is a 100 overall talent, 96 Tupac, Lakers Kobe, 07 Cena, O Rock, Smackdown Taker, Hall of Fame talent, you name it, He Blast is him. Then came the defining moment when He Blast finally returned in Ultimate Alien. He Blast came in with a glorious return like he was John Cena back in 2008 and humbled the failed king known as Victor with ease. His design for the show was amazing too, though his voice, I don't know about that. He Blast is such a fire alien that he was one of Ben's last used aliens during his battle with Vilgax in Ultimate alien. The first alien being one of the final aliens be used in the season finale is still an amazing thing to me. In Omniverse, Heat Blast was still one of the rawest aliens around and was on that Kevin Hart level workout. Just look at the homies gains compared to Ultimate Alien. My guy flew up the pyros to cook up a one hour workout session to pick up these gains. You gotta love it. All in a year two by the way, Heat Blast to me is a generational talent because he's the first alien Ben ever used in the series. He's easily one of the most iconic and recognizable aliens in the series. He's been in every major installment element of the series except Alien Force. Heat Blast has some of the best scenes in the series, set the foundation for transformations in the series, and looks like a proud son of Ghost Rider. Heat Blast is him personified and one of the goats of the series. You know you're him when folks were referencing you in a whole other series and Sukuna went ballistic mode and decided to destroy the whole city in season 2 of Jujutsu Kaisen. Like my guy looks so raw in Sukuna's pose, but yeah guys, Heat Blast is certainly a top 3 alien of all time and a Hall of Fame individual that you want in your corner. If I had the Omni tricks he'd always be one of my go-to alien forms that's for sure you guys let me know your thoughts on heat blast down in the comments below but heat blast was always one of my favorites from the series so you already know i consider him to be a generational talent and one of the best out there the next videos coming out will be the hulk one where we talk about his downfall ever since the mcu hulk used to be that guy during the 2000s man he was one of the big three of marvel that there were so many adaptations of him whooping other superheroes like the x-men wolverine thor the avengers but now his reputation has been cooked so badly because of the mcu when he got cooked by Thanos man it was so it was so wild man the Miles Morales video we're going to talk about him as a legacy character how this man has been around for 13 years he's done so many things that other legacy characters like Wally West and Dick Grayson have not been able to do so that's going to be a good one too and one of my homegirls has told me a good idea for a video which is going to be Hall of Fame baddies where we talk about some of the baddest chicks out there 
who can also whoop you in the fight, bro. It's gonna be great. And then generational chats and a Nightwing video for all my Dick Grayson homies out there. But if y'all enjoyed the video, consider the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also got an Instagram now. Y'all wanna follow on there? We post on Instagram once in a while, so follow your boy on there. I also be updating y'all a lot more on Instagram as opposed to the community tab on YouTube. As always, I hope y'all get a nice week, and I'll catch y'all for the next video. Voro Army out.